a flash pulmonary edema picture, how would you treat that patient? So first things first, what you would do is, again, you want to start the patient on some form of diuretic to get the volume out, right? So IV Lasix is going to be for everybody. But apart from that, you got to start thinking about most patients with flash pulmonary edema will be hypertensive. It is a hypertensive emergency, right? In order for you to call it a hypertensive emergency, how high should your blood pressure be? 180 over 120, okay? If it's more than 180 over 120 and you have an end organ damage such as a flash pulmonary edema, then you will call it hypertensive emergency. Now, when it comes to picking a drip, when it comes to hypertensive emergency, you prefer starting patients on a IV drip, right? And when it comes to an IV drip, which is the drip that's preferred? Nitroglycerin. Why? Because nitroglycerin is a predominant venodilator. It decreases your preload and therefore brings less blood to your heart to work with. So think of it always in the same realm. Your heart, you want to decrease volume. I want to affect my preload. I want to affect my afterload both for mortality benefit as well as acute management. So you hit with Lasix to decrease the volume. Then you go with nitroglycerin to drop your preload. And if the patient is still not responding well, you want to go after the afterload. So what are you going to do to give the afterload low? Hydralazine. So you can do IV hydralazine 